Marissa Turnow with the County Showcase. We're here in Louisville, Ohio at the Umbrella Alley for the second annual Chalk Art Festival. Please come out and support the Ohio Chalk Art Guild as well as our local chalk artist, Iris. Grab a door cup at one of our local bars or restaurants and stop by and do some shopping at one of our local businesses. Also, be sure to check out the art wall. They'll be chalking all weekend. Thank you so much and please enjoy this week's episode. Hi everybody, I am back and I have Rick. Rick, what do you have to do with this weekend? Well, we have a chalk event here at Umbrella Alley this weekend. Is this something that you know you, you help do? Yeah, the, the Umbrella Alley is uh, uh, my idea, but the product of the city, businesses, organizations, families, and a lot of volunteers all coming together and saying that we believe in the city of Louisville, its future, and its old downtown. Are you excited about the second annual chalk festival going on? You bet. Uh, we have professional chalk artists that will be working all day today, that's Saturday, and on Sunday. And uh, when the public sees what they are going to create, um, it's going to be magical. Now, did you come up with the theme? No, no, that's way beyond my skill sets. <laughs> so you, how did the theme come about? Um, I think uh, uh, our group uh, had some broad ideas and uh, they picked one that has to do with the ocean mm -hmm. and said this would be neat and it's completely different from what we had last year and it'll be very interactive so people can take pictures and enjoy something that they've just never seen before. I am so excited for the underwater theme and then the dinosaurs. My, my niece is a very big fan of both of those things and she's gonna freak out when she comes. So when they said that, I was getting real excited. Yep, yep, in addition to underwater, we're gonna have balloons and a dinosaur. Kind of feels like you're at Disneyland with the, with the balloon picture and everything. Sure, yeah. We love it. Okay. Well, thanks for stopping by and talking to us. Good luck with your event this weekend, okay. and we can't wait to see everybody support you. Okay, thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Marissa Turno with the County Showcase. I'm here at Umbrella Alley at the Chalk Festival, and I have two of our chalk artists here, Cheryl and Jennifer. How are we doing today? We're doing good. Yeah, we started last night. We set up projectors and overhead projectors, and once it got dark enough, we were able to put our image up on the wall. And it's a little challenging because we have a little bit of a pitch and a yaw here with the, with the alley and the segments that we have to do to get this giant length um, projected <laughs> on the wall. We had some finessing to do. There's some gnashing of teeth, but we got through it. <laughs> You, you guys made it early. It's pretty early today. Yeah. What time did you guys start, get started? We got started around 9.15, 9.30. Okay. So where are you all from? You're not from around here. No, I am from Columbus, northern Columbus. Okay. So. Yeah. And I'm Cincinnati right now. So how did you guys get together to do this? Do you, have you done many we, other ones? Um, not on the wall, usually on the ground. We actually met at um, a truck festival in Columbus um, about five years ago. and. We work in very similar styles, and we're like, let's do stuff together. So we we're like, yeah. 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 And so we did. <laughs> we so in front sense. <laughs> I love it. And then, you know, you get to come to cool places like the Umbrella Alley. Yeah, I mean, we've been quite a few places, actually. We were invited back in 2019 down to Crystal Bridges down in Arkansas, which is a huge American art museum. Um, we've done, where else have we been? Like, you've done a bunch of stuff for small town Ohio, small towns yeah, in Ohio. Indiana, okay. a couple years yeah. ago. And The photographs of Umbrella do not do Umbrella Alley <laughs> justice because it is really something to actually experience yeah. here. I know we're hoping a bunch of people are going to be coming out today to see you guys and tomorrow, right? You'll be here tomorrow yeah, as well. Yeah, we'll be here tomorrow right. too. How long is this going to take? Hopefully just the two days because I have to work on Monday. So. <laughs> <laughs> going to get your real job. Real job. <laughs> yeah, my real job. We have another artist and she's not here yet. So, yeah. um, you know, between the three of us, this is, this is about 40 feet in length. And so normally for a chalk festival, we work anywhere from six by six to ten by ten. Okay. So I mean, two of three of us can easily crank this off in two days. Nice. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And so you, it's your design. 
So how did you come up with the design? <laughs> well, you know, I don't know. It's just one of those things where it's like, how about an octopus that's like a one octopus band, you know? <laughs> I mean, you got eight arms, let's do something with them. So he's playing the drums, he's got a trombone, and he's got a screen, and uh, we've got a, a little crab down here with a selfie, you know, with a cell phone, doing a selfie. <laughs> we've got a sea turtle at the one end, uh, so there are plenty of places to take photographs once, once it comes together because right now there's not much to see. Yeah. <laughs> we just have some outlines right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 local artist Iris. Iris, how are we doing today? Good, how are you doing? Doing well, thank Good. you for asking. What made you get into chalking? Honestly, um, Rick and Rayan from Umbrella Alley, they just reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do it just because I was a local artist from the area and I was like, sure. I, this, uh, last year when we did the chalk event, that was my first time chalking ever, so I was like, okay, I'll try it out. <laughs> so um, it, it turned out to be pretty good at it then? Yeah, it worked, it worked, yeah. <laughs> so you got to design your mural, right? The, yes. the two things, so tell us what you are chalking, what you're talking today. So today we're gonna have two different interactive pieces for the people who are walking walking through Umbrella Alley to kind of take pictures with for Instagram. Um, so the first set is going to be a big set of balloons that you can like stand underneath and like look like you're holding and taking a picture. And then over you're going to have our big dinosaur that will look like he has his arm wrapped around you Aww. so you can take pictures with him. So we have to ask, what color is the dinosaur going to be? He's going to be pink. <laughs> that was A lot of people were wondering that and that was the color we went with was pink. <laughs> you heard it here folks, first. Pink. It's going to be pink. <laughs> So you got to design this. Mm -hmm. How long did it take for you to design everything? Um, not too long. It was kind of a back and forth thing. I would send kind of a couple different ideas back to the people of Umbrella Alley, ask them, you know, get their feedback on what they thought we should do. So kind of just a different rough drafts we sent back here and there. And finally we, we sat down and finalized the dinosaur and the balloons. So. And then you came here last night to project the outline, right? How long did that take? That only took about an hour. We came out, um, it just saves a little bit of time when it's dark, you know what I mean? So we projected that up last night so that when we came out today, we'd be ready to roll. All right, ready to rock and roll. And you're here today, we have one balloon. <laughs> Chalked already. Yep. Well, I mean, we're, we're pretty early today. We're, we're, we're here having fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, so how long is this going to take? Um, I'm not sure yet. It's one of those things where it will either take me the full weekend to do or I might get done today. We kind of just have to play it out and see, you know, how long the details take or, you know, just things like that. And you don't want it to end today because then you can't have any more smoothies from Uptown Joe's, right? Right. right. I have to be able to spread it out so I can go get my smoothies every day. <laughs> I am back and I have Kenny here today. Kenny, you are the owner of Uptown Joe. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, it's a family owned business. Uh, my mom, my brother, my sister are all involved. Uh, we opened in December of 2014, so we're on our seventh year. Uh, and everything seems to be going smoothly now, so. <laughs> That's all I think I hear is Uptown Joe, Uptown Joe, whenever people talk about Louisville, especially when the Umbrella Alley was was like kind of popping up and I remember there was a lot of people coming in and putting like a tab down for first responders. I remember that about a like, what, year and a half ago for COVID and everything. We were coming down and I just, that was like the first time I heard about Uptown Joe. I'm like, well, I need to go to this place because it sounds way cool and you know, support of the community and everything. Uh, yeah, that was that was actually a great event. Um, during the first shutdown, we did uh, somebody donated I think a hundred dollars for first responders, and we had over a thousand dollars built on that card in just a, a week or two. So um, there's a lot of support here for the local business and, and for the first responders. And uh, yeah, I'm just I appreciate all of it. It's great. <laughs> so we were just over at Unhitched, and they were talking about how they've been there for about two years and how drastic the changes have been. So you've been here for seven years, so how do you feel about the changes? Uh, I'm happy. I mean, the more business, the more people downtown, so I'm just waiting to see some of these storefronts fill in and uh, just kind of riding it out. <laughs> so were you guys busy today for the Chalk Festival? It was, it was pretty busy today. Uh, it's, you know, it's just, we're, we're so steady now, it's just, it's kind of been busy every day, so. Uh, I was going to say, is there like a certain day that's more busy? Usually Saturdays, yeah, Saturday morning. Um, Sundays have been picking up. We're open on Sundays now. Uh, we don't open until 9 then, but I, I think people are just waiting. There's usually people at the door waiting for us to open, so uh, it's, it's really been great. Hi, everybody. 
everybody, I am back and I have Adam with Unhitched Brewery. Adam, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. <laughs> what do we got going on? Brunch, 4th of July, pre-4th of July. So we're just brunching all day till four, having some fries and some 10 pin, which we just retapped. So our flagship Pilsner, happy to have that back on draft. I love the 10 pills. I, I took one sip when we got here and I was like, oh, it's so good. I'm happy to have it back. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys just started doing brunch, right? We started maybe like two months ago. Um, and we decided to do it on Saturdays because we don't have a liquor license on Sunday to do cocktails and things. So we said, well, let's just do it on Saturday, making it a long extended day. Um, so we can do, you know, the Bloody Marys and mimosas and all that good stuff. So uh, 10 to 2 is brunch. We've got some really good stuff. We got a really good shrimp and grits. Um, we got eggs benedict. We got a yogurt bowl. Um, some of our other favorites, like our pita, is on there. Um, and uh, a breakfast smash burger. Can't go wrong with a breakfast smash burger. So. I may or may not like the smash burger. Yeah, it's, it's dynamite. It's. We're super fans of the Smash Burger, so it'll, that'll be on the menu forever. I hope so. I pretty much already had words with with him about it, but you know, it's my favorite thing, and I think I have the entire Run Club hooked on the Smash Burger. We're super excited to have Run Club. I'm I'm glad that you are managing it and uh, teaching everybody the ropes. It's been it's a good like mix mix in. Um, the weather has always been really crappy on almost every Run Club day. But people still show up, um, and uh, and we like having people in here and exercising. And, um, it's a good time. Yeah, we we were very. I, I was pumped when we started talking about running that one day, and then you know we're making it work with first and third Wednesdays, and you know like like you said, I think we've had two sunshine days um, since we started, but we've had a crew here every single week, and. You know, a lot of it's the food and the beer. People keep coming back for that. They they wait for that weekly, that weekly uh, run club and everything. So. Got to get your fix in. Got to get your fix. <laughs>